Happy Valentine's Day 2023. I thought I'd show you some of the action figures I really, really like. So, it is a variety. We'll start with Valkyrie from Spawn Series 22, Viking Age. Made by McFarlane in 2002. Really cool. The detail. I mean, the detail is just awesome. And then we'll go over to... Some Corporal Hicks figures, again by McFarlane, Colonial Marine Corporal Hicks, uh, 2004, the Movie Maniacs series. This is the standard one. It came in a helmeted and, and without the helmet. This is pulse rifle. This is the base it came with. There's now... There was a collector's exclusive, collector's, McFarland Collector's Club exclusive, and that's this one. And the base was the same as the other one, except it had a, an egg. This also came with um, the shotgun and uh, the holder in the back. The holder is really cool. I just not top of head over. See, put the shotgun in there. Um, so I, I just put them on this base. I thought it was cool. Um, and since I don't have the other base, I don't know what happened to it. But so here he has his shotgun, his helmet. So I like those. And since I just knocked down. Copperhead, uh, <laughs> and there goes Daryl. Sorry, Daryl. This is not going too well, is it? <laughs> I love when they don't stand up. Um, and she has a little trouble standing up because I don't have her her uh, her uh, base. So this is. Uh, Arkham Origins Copperhead. She was introduced in the Arkham Origin video game. Another super detailed figure. Um, sadly, when I moved, I wasn't involved in packing away a lot of my collectibles because I was in the hospital. So things got broken and lost. And in this case, she was supposed to have another hand like this. Uh, it got broken off, so I just gave her this hand. But look at her, the wash, her tattoos. And she's super articulated. So I, I like, like her a lot. 2014 DC Collectibles. And here we have Daryl Dixon, uh, obviously from AMC's The Walking Dead. This was a deluxe box set. It came with his chopper motorcycle in 2014 by McFarlane. They did a, a laser um, copy of the, uh, of the Norman Reedus, the actor. And so the face is really accurate. Okay, moving over here, we have the Alex Ross Justice Series 1 Cheetah from DC Direct. And <laughs> I think I like this mostly because of the face um, she looks maniacal, doesn't she? A 
fitting uh, nemesis of Wonder Woman. Moving on over to a couple of Poison Ivies. The taller one is the Secret File Series 3 Batman Rogues Gallery, Poison Ivy, inspired by the art of Brian Bolin um, and the, the cover of Batman Arkham or Gotham Knights number 15. And then you have the DC Comics Super Villains Poison Ivy. Smaller scale. And then over here, we have, I'm going to lift this up a little so you can see her beautiful face. This is the DC Brightest Day Series 2 Mira from 2011. Beautiful figure. Awesome translucent uh, scale skin tight uh, costume. Her articulation is uh, virtually non-existent. She's more, more uh, suitable for just posing like a statue. And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have here Wonder Woman Series 1 Agent Diana Prince. She was working for the DMA, the Department of Metahuman Affairs, which is a subdivision of the DEO, the Department of Extra Normal Operations. And her weapon, actually she came with two, although they didn't provide her with another open hand to hold both of them. And that's supposed to be a, a, a taser baton. But the uh, figure is really cool. She's got non-removable belt, and she also has these awesome non-removable glasses. So I have dioramas of every single one of these on DeviantArt except uh, Copperhead. I'll have to do one with Copperhead. So I hope you liked it. It's the Valentine's Day special, and I'm out.